My name is Sergeant David Rose. I'm with the Houston Police Department's Vehicular Crimes Division. We're out here investigating a fatal crash that happened about uh, 2 o'clock this morning at the 6,000 block of West Little York. Uh, what we know happened is a Nissan Altima left the roadway driving westbound on West Little York and crashed into a tree. The um, uh, car is heavily damaged, which suggests a high rate of speed and there is an odor of alcohol coming from the vehicle. Fortunately, the person that got into the crash was trapped in the vehicle, but he died on impact. Um, the medical examiners come into the scene, and they're gonna be extracting the person from the vehicle and then taking the remains with them to the, the county morgue. Um, and yeah, uh, so we don't know if uh, the smell of alcohol 100% means the person was driving over the, lim the limit, but we suspect intoxication is a factor in this crash. And it was the sole occupant in the vehicle? Correct. No other cars involved. It seems like a pretty high impact. Like we're going at a decent speed. Today. Yeah. I definitely think speed's a factor. If uh, this person was driving the speed limit on this roadway, um, I don't think this would have been a fatality crash. Um, I still think a crash may have happened if the person was intoxicated, but we don't know that for sure. So. possible. Um, I don't know enough about that other scene to really comment on it. I haven't been there. So um, I will say that this time of night, there's a lot of people that are drinking and driving on the roadways. We do our best to try to combat that. Um, you know, our traffic enforcement and DBI task force units are out tonight. And uh, uh, patrol, of course, is, is looking for drunk drivers, responding to calls. And, you know, if we find a drunk driver on our scenes, they get prosecuted to the full extent of the law. So, you know, whether or not they're, they're at fault for the crash. So we, uh, we try what we can, but the biggest thing people can do is just make plans ahead of time, not drink and drive. And if, um, you know, people see drunk people driving on the road, you know, like what's the best course of action for them? If it's dangerous to follow them, we want them to call it in and just give us a description of the vehicle. Um, if it's safe to follow them, you know, you can follow them if you'd like. Um, that's that's helpful for us. Then we can actually find the location where you're at. Uh, you can call um, our you can call 911 if it's an emergency. Um, if the the person is just asleep at the wheel in a drive-through, you can call the 713-884-3131. Um, you know, once again, like you know, uh, we take every effort to try to arrest these people if they're drinking and driving. But you know, I'm not sure that's associated with this particular crash at this time. So, anything else up? 